Hello everyone, I'm Soulwolf and in this video I wanted to show you one of my favourite toys from when I was a little kid. And uh, you'll be surprised to know if you don't know already, or maybe you won't, it's the original Littlest Pet Shop Toys. I'll tell you more about it in a minute. First we'll do the shout outs, we've got a few today. And they go to Princess Blue Moon the Penguin, Low Lots of Pie, Kelsey, he uh, sorry, Kelsey Chima, Princess Furby, NMC B94 and Kiza. So, um, when I was a kid I absolutely adored Littlest Pet Shop. They came out in the 90s, the original toys. I know that um, quite a few of my subscribers are into LPS because I've seen them on your channels and things like that. Um, but I wanted to show you the original Littlest Pet Shop that I grew up with. and I was absolutely crazy about these toys. I had nearly all of them. And it all started with a little cat that... Um, sorry, no, no, it was a little toucan. My second one was a cat. My, my parents bought me a little toucan in a cage and I'll show you them in a minute. So I nagged my parents for a pet shop to put them all in and I was trying to make my my own out of cardboard boxes and I just, I kept making all these pet shops because I really really wanted the real thing but I thought I can make my own so I made it out of a cardboard box um, and I, it just didn't go very well and um, so in the end my parents went on a shopping trip into town and uh, they came back with it and I had it I think as an early Christmas present or something and I was so happy but anyway this is the pet shop as you can see um, I've had it in storage for a little while, so it's a bit dirty. I did actually try and clean it off. It's got these two um, uh, sort of clips either side to open it. On the back, it's, well, it's quite dirty. I did mean to clean it off, and I did give it a wipe, but obviously I missed that bit. Um, yeah, on the back it's got this little thing that's kind of like a window. It's just a bit of cardboard, there's nothing underneath it. And that's basically it and I know they did do another pet shop later on it's just a recolor of the original one and it was orange I think and I did mean to get one off eBay to store some of my other pets in because I've got tons of them but uh, I, I, I haven't got around to it so I probably won't so let's open it up and inside we have the pets. So um, I actually started out with not enough pets to fill this pet shop and soon they overflowed and I've got them in boxes and all over the place now because like I said I had nearly all of the original ones and they also brought out Littlest Pet Shop Zoo as well. So my first pet I ever had was this little toucan in its cage and if we undo the bottom, does the bottom undo? It's been a while since I've actually since I've, uh, yeah, I'm pretty, yeah, it is the bottom. Yeah, it's been a while since I've got any of these guys out, so this is kind of a little nostalgia trip for me as well. It's a little toucan that sits on a perch, and it's got a little bit of newspaper underneath, and there's its food bowl. Um, the nice thing about the original pets is that they all did something different. So this toucan flapped its wings like that. I think also. Yeah, its head, its head turns a little bit as well. Let's see. There. So that was my first one. And then we've got my second one I had. I remember my grandparents bought it for me when we went into town one day. And it's a cat in a little carrier. And I love this little cat so much that its eyes actually started to come off the paint for its eyes. So I drew them back on with a permanent marker. And it's got a magnet in its head, a bit like the um, Littlest Pet Shop Pets of today. And uh, it's got a ball of wool in its carrier that's magnetic. So uh, sticks to its face. <laughs> um, and obviously as well, it's got some food as well, so it doesn't get hungry or anything at the back there. I'm not going to show all of them, we'd be here all morning. But I'll just show you a few of my favourites. So I really loved it, like I said, I was really really into Littlest Pet Shop and um, it meant every shopping trip I'd sort of be um, looking out for it whenever we went into town, I'd get my parents to sort of go into the shop and they were only cheap, most of them came in those blister packs and they were about 4 99 and the larger ones were more expensive, for example the gerbils came with um, extra tubes and stuff which were all in a different box because they wouldn't fit in the pet shop itself. And it's got a magnet and you can run it around the um, the tubes 
with this magnet also again in, in different box and they had a wheel as well go around in the wheel um, I'll show you better with the hamsters we've got some hamsters here and you can see if you just turn that around he runs around in the wheel like that I can't remember when I got most of them uh, also another time I got these ones they did release the original pet series and they were just recolored so they're all like bright colors um, let's turn around there. oh we turned around again yeah they were all bright colors and they changed the colors of the pets too so I don't have quite as many of those ones but I do have nearly all the original ones so they were the original colors and those ones were the recolored ones I've got a little dog here and he wiggles his paw like that a little collar one of my favourites was this family of cats you see here. They're really, really cute. I don't know if the camera will pick up on that. Um, hold on, I need to hold it right across. And it's a bit blurry. Put it back a bit. But anyway, yeah, they're really, really cute. Um, these little kittens. And I remember my mum gave them to me, I think for Christmas or my birthday or something. I remember having a school disco. My favourite kitten was this one. <coughs> And I actually took it to school with me. I took it to the disco in my pocket. I mean, look at him. He's adorable. Look at his little feet. He's just so cute. And they all have names. And I could remember all the names when I was a kid. And I used to write stories about them as well. I can't remember any of their names now. Except that one. His name's Charlie because it's written there underneath his cage. Um, and these ones, I think this was the third set I got. It's another cat with a magnetic head. And this one scratches the scratching post there as well. So they sit in the window of the pet shop. I think the pet shop was originally made to fit the Series 1 pets because obviously that fits perfectly in the window. But as time went on, I mean this one is from like quite a later series when they started to do gem pets. Oh and these ones, these ones actually came with the, the pet shop. They, were, they came with it inside it and they kiss each other. See? Like that. Little love birds. Oh, and another thing with the toucan was it, it came with this little ring on the top here, and you could take the toucan off its perch and put it on the ring and wear it on your finger. Um, it only well, it doesn't even fit my little finger anymore. That used to actually fit on my finger. That's kind of scary. Um, when I was a kid, it doesn't fit on my finger anymore. I have grown so much. Let's put that back. So, and this one's pretty good too. This little dog's playing a yard. Got another one of these that shakes its paw. And we've got a dog with a magnetic head that plays in the newspaper. That one there, he's got a magnetic head. I could just take this off and you can see inside. There, they've got a little bed inside. I still love these. I don't think, I mean, I've got rid of some of the toys I had when I was a kid, but I don't think I'd ever get rid of Littlest Pet Shop because it's just, it was just, I used to literally look home, uh, look forward to going home after school just to play with this. Um, so I'm going to show you some of the packaging that they came in because I do have some that I got off eBay some years later. And how much the packaging differs from the today's Littlest Pet Shop. Now, I do actually have these. I got these. Um, when today's little pet shop first came out and they're little hamsters and you can see it's got a window in the front and a window in the top I have opened them I just keep them in the box because it's a bit better and they're very fluid the shapes are very very fluid and flowing and um, they've got lots of round shapes on them and compare that to the original hamster circus which came in a box like this um, let's move the camera down a bit there we go and they all had um, sort of like artwork that was drawn by someone on the front and then it showed you what it did on the back and this one was little hamsters and I, I remember when I was a kid I really really wanted this one and I could not get it we couldn't find it anywhere so years later I ended up getting it off eBay um, and I bought like a job lot of loads and loads of little pet shop pets and they were all in their original boxes they'd been played with and that but they were kept really well 
So I bought this big set of them, there was like 12 sets in there and I kept most of them and sold the ones I already had. Um, and also they were made by Kenner, Kenner Parker, which doesn't exist anymore. So inside it's just, just a box inside. But you had all these bits and pieces inside it. And they all kind of fitted onto one another. Let's pop them in there. I think it goes in there. Like that. Put that on properly. It's a bit stiff. There we go. Pop it in there. Luckily plastic they're made from is quite sturdy so that's the old hamsters and then we'll have a look at the new ones just for comparison and there's the new ones so you've got the new ones and the old ones take this off here I keep them all in the hamster ball And these ones had hairstyles for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, but they had teeny tiny hairstyles. Quite cute. And then we'll get out the other ones. And how do I get these out? Oh yeah, I've got to turn it around. There we go. And they've got bedding in there and it's stuck to them. Let's push the bedding off. It's gone everywhere. Where's this little bobbly head? So compare these two together. The old little pet shop and the new. And these ones, some of these actually didn't really do anything. This one just kind of sits there. Um, this one, yeah, he just kind of sits there. I think one of them is supposed to be a little bit, I don't know if these are the original ones that came with the set, but I think one of them was supposed to be slightly sort of rounded so that it ran around in the wheel. Or at least it looked like it ran around in the wheel or the ball when you pushed it along. Put that bedding back in. And of course this wheel went around like that. Um, and it's actually got a platform inside it so you can sit your hamster on that and it will run around. And there. And I think the others were supposed to maybe come with like a magnetic wand or something so that you could get them to run through a bit like the uh, gerbils but they haven't got a wand like I said I bought them off eBay so I don't know who had them to begin with but I know you can do this move that around put them in there so the only other thing I wanted to show whoops looking the camera about the only other thing I wanted to show was This is another type of packaging they came into which had a flap at the top. And this one was the Chirpy Birds with a Nesting Home. And I like this one because it's quite unusual, which is why I decided to show it today. Back there. And inside we've got stand up some little birds sitting on a like a I don't know a tree um, and again they all sort of like actually no to be fair I don't think they really do very much these ones there's a little baby bird there and that kind of rocks a little bit maybe rocking the baby to sleep and they do perch on this which you can move with the uh, with a little handle and they perch on the tree as well so maybe that's what they do they didn't do quite as much of those ones they're from a much later generation you can also have them sitting on here as well they want to have a drink or something. So, plastic's gone a bit funny on that one with age. But yeah, I think that um, they were quite innovative, um, which is probably why I like them so much. You can even write their names there if they have names. Luckily, the person who had this before me didn't write on it. I used to write on mine there all the time because I named mine. So that was just a little look at the uh, the toys that I enjoyed when I was a kid. And I suppose how much they've changed. I mean, I do have quite a few of the new LPS toys. 
Um, not masses really, I mean I've seen some of your collections and you've got boxes full of them and it's amazing. Um, I'm only really like that, I suppose I've got like a huge amount of puppy in my pockets. I did a video of that um, quite a while ago now, where I cleaned them. Um, I do actually have uh, the pet shop, when the new LPS bought out the pet shop, I've got the pet shop. And I've got a few other little pets. I also like the Teeny Tiny series as well, the teeniest tiniest. Um, I thought they were really cool because I love that little sort of tiny play sets and things like Polly Pocket and things like that um, with tiny animals in. So yeah, I hope you enjoyed watching this and I will see you next time. And of course, don't forget, if you want to watch related videos, to click on the boxes below. And this is Silver signing off. Bye!